Hey guys, how's it going? I'm Justin Davis from Drone Camps RC. Today we're going to do a video on how to replace your Phantom 2 motor. So real quick before we get started, we wanted to show you what a bad motor or ESC problem can look like. So we're going to go ahead and spool up now to a low throttle. And it's pretty apparent which motor is malfunctioning. So we don't have to hit the throttle at all to see this. It's an apparent problem. So if we were to try to fly right now, the Phantom would just tip over. So now we're going to turn it off and we're going to get started taking off the body. So the first thing we're going to do after we get the propellers off is we're going to use our hex driver to take off each of the hex screws around the arms. You're also going to need a Phillips head screwdriver to take off. There's one Phillips head screw on each end of the motor holding the frame on. You don't have to take the landing gear off or your gimbal off. So we're just going to pull the top of the Phantom off and get right inside. So the next step will be removing the screws. One thing before you get started in removing all your screws is that you put a nice hand towel down on top of whatever surface you're working on so that if you have a screw bounce out, it's not going to go very far. It's just going to be right there on your work surface. So uh, this will prevent a, a lot of lost screws. When you're removing your screws, make sure that you leave them all to the end of each arm of the helicopter because these screws are different lengths, some of them, and you don't want to get them out of order when you put them back in. So it's important that they all go back in the correct position. So we're going to go ahead and start removing the screws now. One thing you're going to notice that when you take the top off of the Phantom, that the GPS is still going to be plugged in. So you want to make sure you unplug that easily and, and remove that, set it to the side. So now we can get started on replacing our motor. We took a green Sharpie and put a mark on the motor that's bad so that we'll know which motor it was when we take the cover off. So if you have a marker laying around or something that you can mark the motor with, that's probably a good idea to do that. So sometimes when you do a motor repair, you're also going to find out that you have maybe a bad ESC. So we have an extra ESC here and it's spare part number seven. So this is the counterclockwise rotating. On the Vision Plus, you'll be able to use just a regular a Phantom 2 Vision Plus uh, spare part number 7. So make sure you have the correct ESC for that for a Phantom 2 or a Vision Plus. So we're going to go ahead now and we're going to unseat the solder here on the main board and we're going to solder on the new points um, and we're going to take off the two screws that hold on the, the ESC to the Phantom body. So let's go ahead and get started doing that now. Okay guys, now we've got our wires soldered onto the ESC board from the motor. And you want to make sure that you look at your other ESC to make sure that your wires are soldered on correctly. So take special care when you're soldering this onto the board that you don't get a little bit of solder touching each individual section because it could cause a short. And also make sure that you don't get too much heat near some of these chips over on this side or on this side here. So be very careful when you're soldering that up and uh, try to use sort of a pin style solder gun and you can get more precision with that. So moving on to the next step, we're going to solder onto the main board. After that, we're going to do a test of the motor and see how it works. Now that we've completed all of our soldering from the motor to the ESC and the ESC back to the main board. So once that's all done, we can plug in the ribbon cable back on both sides and we can put in a little zip tie here just to make sure they're close enough and snug during the flight. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to do a power test, but we can't power up the motors until we plug in the top. We plug in the GPS and everything will initialize. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to put the top back on, plug in the GPS, put the screws back in, and we're going to show you how the props are working now after our repair. Now we're going to plug in the GPS ribbon cable. So just make sure that the teeth on the ribbon cable face forward and they will slide directly into the GPS slot. Okay, so now we're going to turn our transmitter back on and we're going to turn on the Phantom. And so the next thing we're going to do is test our motors to make sure that they're all functioning properly after the repair. I'm going to have the props off, of course. So I'm going to go ahead and center my sticks down and to the center. And now it looks like all of them are spinning in the proper direction. Go ahead and give it a little bit of throttle test. So 
So our repair is complete, everything looks good. Now we have to go outside and do a flight test outside. So we're going to do a tethered flight test after we do a repair, an in-house repair. It's very important that you do some sort of a tethering. If you have any issues, you'll just have a minor crash rather than a, a fly away or, or out of the park or, or wherever. So very important to do a tethered flight test. So thanks again for watching the Drone Camps RC channel and look for us again on YouTube. Please subscribe. Thank you.